Um, how long have you been here doing this? Uh, this is our 19th year. Mm -hmm. God's blessed us to be able to stay mm -hmm. here and, and really form a strong foundation here in this community. What, uh, what led you to specifically um, uh, do this? Well, I had an injury of my back, and so that's when I started doing yoga. Once again, I had done it as a child, but also I felt that God was leading me to help heal others that have either physical, emotional, or spiritual uh, injuries or need of healing. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the people that uh, come into this place. Uh, how, how do they come? How do they leave? What types of uh, some people, what kind of problems or injuries? Yeah, some their bring? doctors send, but some live in the neighborhood. Um, and a lot of people, though, are just drawn by the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. uh, searching for a closer relationship with God, uh, on having a spiritual awakening in their life, mm -hmm. or um, having been hurt by something that's occurred in their life. Mm -hmm. So physical and spiritual Correct. healing. Correct, mm -hmm. definitely. And um, let's talk about a little bit about the misconception, the spiritual misconception of, of yoga being something that's a, not, you know, on the not to do list if you're a Christian because of um, opening doors to um, spirits or spiritual things that are not of the Holy Spirit. And I've heard that a lot, and I definitely have the covering of my pastor and others who pray for me because it is, uh, it's kind of a for, I'm kind of a forerunner uh, because most people don't want to go into areas that deal with uh, Eastern religions. And there is some danger there, but if you're under God's covering and if He's anointing what you're doing, then He protects you from those um, false teachings or uh, areas where the enemy may try to in fact, we're actually coming against that type of principality. So we're luring others away from that, uh, drawing others more than lure. Um, you know, we're drawing them to seek Jesus and to seek truth. So Jesus is the center and he protects. Mm -hmm. So what would you tell Christians who maybe before they were believers loved yoga and then they embrace the whole belief that it's a dangerous place to be spiritually, what, or, or even Christians who would love to do yoga but refrain themselves because of it. How would you um, challenge them to, you know, to believe otherwise? Well, in the scriptures it says, by their fruits you will know them. And we've had a multitude of salvations and healings here. And so the Holy Spirit is using this ministry for the kingdom. And I would just say, uh, as it says in Psalms, taste and see that the Lord is good. And anything that in your life that centers around the Lord, uh, He will bless and He will use for His purposes. So, Do you believe that, you know, I believe somewhere in the scripture it says that you can sanctify everything, that He created everything and that all things, you know, were created oh, Romans by 8, 28. Him. Romans 8, All things work together for good to those mm -hmm. who love God. But you know that you have to keep that in context when when we meditate on scriptures at the beginning of our time together i the holy spirit brings a fresh scripture each day and we begin our time by uh, i read the scripture and we meditate on it throughout the time you have to take it in context though because there are some things i will caution people away from don't go to chant or to bow to idols or other gods. Don't even bow to, uh, you know, in, in yoga you have the sun salutation where they, uh, other practices say bow to the sun. We're not worshiping the sun. We're not worshiping the moon. We're not worshiping a graven image. We're worshiping God. We're worshiping Jesus. And so we're using our bodies, and God is healing our bodies through the yogic practice. So I would just say um, God can use it if you are devoted to Him. Mm -hmm. And I'm devoted to Him. <laughs> yeah, I so, sure see that. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about um, that very special moment at the end of the class when yes. you, go around the, you go around the room, you have your oil, and you're anointing people and being led by the Spirit. Tell me. A little bit about what happens. Well, the Bible says lay, lay on hands, laying on of hands, and that's the way that I feel through faith that the healing is transmitted. So um, it's a very special time. And then there's uh, just some quiet where people are alone with the Lord. 
And that's when I think the most spiritual healing occurs. And every physical problem has some kind of spiritual component or aspect to it. Mm -hmm. So the closer you are to the Lord, the more healing you're going to receive. And when you come here, I'm going to point you toward the Lord, not toward me, not toward barefoot yoga. Mm -hmm. it's, it's about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus do, is everything. Do you get any revelation? like when people come in of, of what they may be facing. Oh yeah, absolutely, word of knowledge and prophetic words, yeah. As well as they tell me, but everybody works at their own pace. It's a very gentle physical practice. So I, I have one gentleman that's 88 that has Parkinson's. Mm. And when he came in, he was bowed over like this. And now he's standing up straight and can balance on one leg. So there, yeah. there's a woman that's been healed of multiple sclerosis. There's a woman that had glaucoma, had to wear a patch, and now her eyesight's wow. revealed. So the Lord's done really miraculous things, as well as, you know, arthritis and other things too, which are small healings, wow. smaller healings. But um, yeah, there's plenty of healing to be had. Yeah. Is there anything I didn't ask you uh, that you think is important to share? this piece? Uh, I think Holy Spirit said it all, but you know, God, God is uh, glorified in this ministry. And if you come, you'll, you'll know that and you'll be able to draw closer to Him. And that's my deepest wish is for others to come in and draw closer to God in relationship. Just a phrase or a message, something you want to, like if you could connect through that lens to the people out there, what would be something you want to tell them? Uh, God loves you. He gave His Son for you. And uh, if you have a friend or someone that doesn't know the Lord, uh, that's my fondest wish too, is that people would bring others that don't know the Lord. Be still and know that I am God. When you come here, you'll find peace. You'll find a rest for your soul. And you'll find, most of all, you'll find the Lord. So, God bless you. Well, thank you so much. I think people are going to uh, be wanting to know more about this. And, uh, no, I'm and so humbled feel... and I'm so honored. Thank you. No, the honor yeah. is ours to yes. be able to yeah. tell all the great things God does yeah. in the community. Amen. Amen. Could you tell us uh, what's the easiest way for people to get a hold of you? You can look at the camera. Oh, yeah, the website is the, T H E, Barefoot Yoga Studio dot com, 561 691 4049. And also we're on Facebook, Barefoot Jupiter. So I hope you come and uh, join us as we worship the Lord.